most people, right, they think aging starts on the outside. I think you'd agree, right? Wrinkles, slow recovery, low energy, but aging actually starts deep inside your cells, inside the tiny power plants called mitochondria. Every breath, every thought, every heartbeat depends on them. And when they run efficiently, you feel unstoppable, right? Full of energy, focused, alive. But when they start to fail, everything else follows. Fatigue, brain fog, hormonal decline, inflammation, and then finally, disease. Research shows that over 90% of age-related diseases is linked to mitochondria dysfunction. Good news, today I'm breaking down what mitochondria actually do, what destroys them, the diseases that follow, and the lifestyle and research-grade peptide stack that can rebuild them from the inside out. So if you care about longevity, performance, or just feeling human again, this is where it all starts. So what do mitochondria actually do? I want you to think of mitochondria as the engines of your biology. They take oxygen and nutrients and produce ATP, the currency of cellular energy. But they're not just energy generators, they're command centers. They regulate inflammation, control cell death, communicate with your DNA to turn genes on and off, even influence hormones, mood, and immunity. A 2019 paper in Nature Review's Molecular Cell Biology called Mitochondria, the master regulators of aging. When ATP output drops, your body shifts from repair mode to survival mode. You burn out instead of rebuild. That's where peptides like MOTC and SS31 enter the research equation. MOTC is encoded right in the mitochondria DNA. When cells experience metabolic stress, MOTC activates AMPK, improves glucose utilization, and signals the nucleus to create new mitochondria. SS31, on the other hand, acts like an engineer. It binds to the cardiolipid, a unique lipid in the inner membrane, restoring the electron transport chain and repairing energy output. That right there is mitochondria rejuvenation at the cellular level, fixing the hardware and optimizing the software at the same time. So what's killing your mitochondria? Any guesses? In two words, modern living. Chronic stress and poor sleep. High cortisol suppresses mitochondria biogenesis. Sedentary behavior, when you stop moving, your body stops building new mitochondria. Processed food and seed oils drive oxidative stress and damage mitochondria membranes. Toxins, heavy metals, and microplastics mutate mitochondria DNA and impair energy flow. Blue light and EMF at night destroy circadian rhythm, which controls mitochondria repair. Even normal aging piles on. Mitochondria enzymes decline, DNA mutations build up, and the number of functioning mitochondria shrinks. A 2020 cell metabolism study found MOTC levels plummet with age, and restoring them reversed insulin resistance and muscle atrophy in older mice. Translation, when mitochondria signaling collapses, your metabolism follows. It's not just fatigue, it's the start of systemic decay. The diseases that follow. Mitochondria isn't a side effect, it's the root cause. Neurodegeneration, low ATP starves neurons, which lead to Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and cognitive decline. Sarcopenia and low testosterone. Less mitochondria energy equals less muscle and less hormone output. Cardiovascular disease. The heart has one of the highest mitochondria densities in the body. Metabolic syndrome. Impaired oxidation equals fat gain equals insulin resistance autoimmune and inflammatory disorders, damaged mitochondria leak reactive oxygen species, igniting chronic inflammation. As Frontiers in Endocrinology put it, mitochondria dysfunction is not merely a byproduct of disease, it's the driver of it. And that's the mindset shift. Stop chasing symptoms and start repairing the power source. Before peptides, you need the foundation. Train hard. Resistance work and sprint intervals activate PGC-1A, your mitochondria master switch. Cold plus heat exposure. Cold plunges trigger adaptation. Saunas release heat shock proteins that shield mitochondria. Prioritize sleep. Deep sleep is mitochondria repair time. Morning sunlight sets circadian rhythm and mitochondria timing. Eat real food. Single ingredient meals, clean proteins, no seed oils. And then finally manage stress. Chronic cortisol burns through NAD, the fuel for mitochondria enzymes. These habits rebuild the foundation. Once they're solid, 
you can layer in advanced mitochondria support. Here's what current research shows about the mitochondria stack. SS31, the repair peptide, stabilizes the inner mitochondria membrane, reduces oxidative damage, restores ATP. Trials from Stealth Biotherapeutics showed improved cardiac output and muscle endurance. And yes, SS31 recently received FDA approval for specific mitochondria disorders. I don't put all my faith in the FDA, but for those who do, it's a big step forward for peptide science. MOTC, the biogenesis peptide that mimics exercise activates AMPK, drives the creation of new mitochondria, and improves insulin sensitivity. 5-amino-1-MQ, the metabolic amplifier, inhibits NNMT, freeing NAD and boosting the metabolic rate, the accelerator of the stack. Humanin, the protector, works synergistically with MOTC to guard neurons and reduce oxidative stress. GHKCU plus epithelium, the long-term rebuilders, GHKCU increases mitochondria respiration and DNA repair. Epithelium maintains membrane potential and telomere stability. Each works on a different layer. Repair, regenerate, amplify, and sustain. Important. This is for research and educational purposes only. Always work with qualified professionals and track biomarkers. You can't out-train or out-supplement mitochondria decay, but you can rebuild it. Through data, discipline, and the right biological tools, you can restore the energy most men lose by their 30s. This is the frontier of human optimization, and it's exactly what I live and teach inside FitScript. For those doing their own research, I'll link the only research brand I trust, Real Peptides, down below. I'll also link where I get my labs done every six months to track mitochondria performance, NAD, and biological age. Because if you don't measure, you're guessing, and guessing keeps you stuck. Disclaimer, this content is for educational and research purposes only. It's not medical advice or recommendation for use. Always consult a qualified professional before beginning any new protocol. If you found this valuable and you're serious about optimizing your biology, hit that subscribe button for me. Like this video and share with a friend who's still weary about peptides. Because the future of health isn't about managing disease, it's about mastering energy. Fix your mitochondria and you'll fix everything. Before we wrap up, let's hit a few quick commonly asked questions. Questions you may be thinking as you get through this video. Question number one, can you stack all of these peptides at once? In research, some compounds are run concurrently, but the smarter strategy is sequencing. Repair first, SS31, regenerate, MOTC, then amplify metabolism, 5-amino-1-MQ. Layering in too many variables at once makes data and response tracking impossible. Question number two, how long before results are observed? In research context, Mitochondria peptides show measurable energy and performance shifts in as little as four to six weeks, but deeper repair and biogenesis take closer to eight to 12. Remember, mitochondria turnover every few weeks. It's biological remodeling, not a stimulant effect. Question number three, what labs should you monitor? Focus on NAD and lactate pruvate ratio, mitochondria efficiency, oxidative stress markers, 8-OHDG glutathione, HSCRP, fasting insulin, and VO2 max for functional output. Question number four, are these peptides safe? The published research shows strong mitochondria protection profiles and low toxicity. But again, this is for research purposes only. Always consult qualified practitioners and source only from verified third-party tested research suppliers. Question number five, can you combine mitochondria peptides with GLP-1s? Yes, in research, combining mitochondria peptides like MOTC with GLP-1 analogs enhances fat oxidation and energy metabolism. Think of GLPs as the signal to use energy efficiently and mitochondria peptides as the engine that makes the energy in the first place. Question number six, do you personally run this stack? I run variations of this protocol under strict lab supervision every six months, and it's a core part of how I optimize recovery, focus, and longevity. Keep dropping your questions below. I personally do read every single comment and use them to decide which peptides or stacks we break down next.